All right, all right, all right. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone of you can see the screen very clearly. Now, in this particular session, friends, uh, I am going to explain you, you know, how to prepare for the APPSC botany exam for the JL and DL categories. Uh, you know, these are 75 days. And what are our major strategies to be followed for these 75 days? We will do the complete chapter-wise analysis. How many marks that we can expect from every single unit? And most important topics in every single chapter. How the marks will be equally distributed to the every single unit and books to be followed. At the same time, friends, you know, we will discuss about the cutoff marks or our safe marks. Means the marks will which will ensure you to score it, uh, you know, to crack the exam. All right, now let's discuss. Now, if all of you please look into the syllabus very clearly, you have a paper one and you have a paper two. You know that, friends, a paper will be 150 marks and paper two will be 300 marks. And I will explain you the complete strategy I'm requesting you if you want to get a wonderful information, listen till the end. Then only you get a perfect information. Now, remember, uh, whomever the students are enrolled with us, if you want to crack the exam, remember, I will teach all of you in such a way that uh, out of this 300 marks, uh, with our coaching itself, uh, you can easily answer 260 to 270 marks uh, very, very easily with our classes as well as uh, excellent PowerPoints then followed by the mock test. But now, what is my suggestion to all of you? My suggestion to all of you, whether you are a general category person, OBC category person, or ST category person, or SC category person, but remember, if you qualify, it doesn't mean that you are going to get the job. You also know very well, you should be always in the top rank. Now, I am requesting everyone, at least you people should be in the range of 190 to the 220. You know, actually, friends, I am telling you the maximum mark. But trust me, if you are in the range of 190 to 120, and if you score at least 100 marks in the paper one, or let's consider only 90 marks in the paper one, so you will be in the range of 280 to 320 marks. I can say to all of you, this is really a safe score, right? Now, let's discuss how we can reach this particular safe score. Now, First, look into the syllabus of the botany. I can tell you one thing very clearly to all of you. The botany syllabus that they have mentioned here is it is completely a PG level. I can tell to all of you it is a set and please don't consider that it is purely set level. I can say that it is including the net level also. Please don't think that you will get a very straightforward questions. No, you don't get that. Now, let's look into the units. There's a unit one, cell and molecular biology of plants. Then cytology, genetic, cytogenetic. It's also a super big unit. Biology and diversity of lower plants, cryptograms. And we got the taxonomy, especially with the gymnosperms and angiosperms. And the biggest unit, the plant physiology and metabolism, plant development and reproduction, plant, uh, sorry, plant ecology, then plant resource utilization and conservation and biotechnology and genetic engineering. Now you can ask me a good question. Sir, should we read all the nine units in order to crack the exam? I can tell to all the students, uh, it is very important to, to focus on the nine units, but I know the time is limited and you people cannot understand the complete concepts also because this, this is mostly applied botany syllabus. Then what my suggestion, out of nine units, Every student, please remember my words very correctly. Seven units, you have to read 100%. Once again, understand, out of nine units, seven units, you have to read 100%. Only one unit, that also I will tell you which unit, you have to study the 50%. So friends, out of nine units, I encourage every single aspirant to focus on 7.5 units compulsory, then only you can crack the exam. Now I will tell you which units also you have to give the highest importance. All right, now let's start from where we have to start. Let's start with the most, most, most important unit, 
where most of the students, I really don't know why they feel very, very difficulty. Being a botany background also, some students are unable to answer the question actually from the plant physiology and biochemistry. They will ask a very simple questions, but very twisted manner. Now, if you look into our syllabus, friends, in our syllabus, it is the combination of plant physiology and the basic biochemistry. If you look into the DL zoology syllabus, they have given more biochemistry compared to the botany. Botany, you are having a very limited biochemistry portion only in the plant physiology. Now, tell me, since we have a 150 marks and we are having only 9 units, there is a great possibility. I will always tell the minimum and I will always also tell the maximum. 10 to 15 questions, there is a possibility that we can expect from the plant physiology and biochemistry including. And I am telling you, there is a fixed questions that you can expect from this unit. Starting from the photosynthesis. I know very well, you all people are working as a junior lecturers, you people are working as a degree lecturers on a contract based. You are teaching the photosynthesis from a very long time. But the way they ask the questions are entirely different. They can ask a graphical question. They can ask an analytical question. They can ask a statement related question also. And very importantly, they can ask the question even from the experimental based also. The questions like uh, most important, how many AT, first listen to me patiently, you get a wonderful idea. How many ATP, NADPH are produced in the C3 cycle for uh, one glucose molecule in order to produce one glucose how many we required in order to produce one three pza how many atp and nadph are required and they will give the highest importance to the c3 cycle c4 cycle and cam pathway what is the significant difference between the c3 cycle c4 cycle and cam pathway and they will ask the characteristics differences between the C3, C4 and CAM. They will ask where the crunch anatomy is happening. Example, C4 plant. Why the C4 plants are efficient in fixing the carbon when compared to the C3 plant? Why the CAM plants are more efficient when compared to the C4 and C3? These are all the common reasons that they will ask in the exam. Apart from that, friends, they will focus on very elaboratively on the C2 cycle also which we also call it as the photorespiration, in which cell organelles the photorespiration is actually happening. This also they will raise the question. Correct, na? They will raise the question from electron flow. That is very important. Cyclic photopasporelation and non-cyclic photopasporelation, how the electrons are flowing, they will be keep on asking the questions. Mineral nutrition, friends, they may ask the questions, they may not ask the questions. If you want to just read the mineral nutrition, just go through the overview of the mineral nutrition, that's all. Then the next one, friends, solute transport. What is this particular solute transport? I want all the students has to understand me very correctly. It is also one of the most promising concept. You keep the point in your mind, you are going to get the question compulsory. An example, they may, they may ask the question from the xylem transport or they may ask the question from the phloem transport. <clears throat> if they ask the question from the xylem transport, there may be a possibility that they will ask the question from cohesion tension theory. If not, they will ask the question about the structural differences. The structural differences about the tracheids and vessel elements. The structural differences between the sieve tube element and sieve cells, how the sugars are flowing, munch hypothesis. But trust me, every single question will be a straightforward question only you are going to get in the exam. Then when it comes to the plant hormone, I am requesting you give the super importance to the five, six hormones majorly. Auxin, zibarelic acid, cytokinin, abscessic acid, ethylene, jasmonic acid. Friends, if you, in case if you find a good time, I encourage all of you even to read the brassinosteroids also. Because in our Telangana exam, it was really surprising to know that they raised questions from all the hormones and they have given the highest importance to the jasmonic acid and brassinosteroids. So friends, it's very important to read this jasmonic acid and brassinosteroids compulsory. It's mandatory to read and remember. And now you can ask me, sir, what exactly we have to read in the hormones? All the students keep the point in your mind. Especially friends, in the hormones, 
every one of you listen majorly majorly focus on by one second majorly focus on their biosynthetic pathway whatever i am saying friends the question never go beyond that level biosynthetic pathway and very 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 important one the precursors involved in the hormone then followed by sorry functions performed by the hormone the most important if you are a jl uh, if you are preparing for the jl you no need to focus on the signaling but if you are preparing for the dl it is extremely important friends to remember the signaling compulsory because uh, from the plant hormones if they ask a difficult question friends uh, that a difficult question only comes from the signaling so because remaining all will be very straightforward question only that's why you should have a wonderful knowledge on the signaling as well then another concept which no student should not skip uh, is the nitrogen metabolism very important friends whenever you are reading the nitrogen metabolism let me tell you from where they will ask the questions very commonly in the exam remember all the students either from the bacteria involved in the various processes of nitrogen fixation or from the genes or from the enzymes or from the process there are only four ways of getting the question from the nitrogen metabolism mostly the bacteria involved in nitrogen fixation nitrification denitrification ammonification the genes involved especially nif gene common nod gene host specific nod gene enzymes such as nitrogenase enzyme nitrate reductase enzyme nitrate reductase enzyme from there they will raise the questions continuously but friends it is a very small topic very scoring topic i don't encourage any one of you to leave it then very see every single point i have written whatever i have written the questions won't come beyond that level that is my 2000% guarantee to all of you the jl people no need to read the secondary metabolites but i am requesting dl people to compulsory read the secondary metabolites it's mandatory that i want you to read it compulsory then followed by because secondary metabolites is a very straight forward concept only where we are going to study about the terpenes phenols and nitrogen containing compound you get a very straight for straight forward question which is only statement related my friends now if you get the question from the experimental based uh, see photosynthesis is one of the major topic where you can expect the question from uh, experimental based similarly my friends uh, sensory photobiology is also one of the major major topic where you can get the question from experiment especially friends from the photoperiodism the experiments related to the short day plants uh, long day plants red light effect uh, far red far red light effect uh, structure of phytochrome structure of cryptochrome structure of phototropins and jl people has to read this much only for the dl people there is a another one is there which we generally called as stress physiology chapter and in the tspsc we got the question even from the stress physiology also so my friends it is very 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 important we have to read in the stress physiology also especially in the stress physiology friends you all people focus on the oxygen stress water stress or the osmotic stress and freezing and chilling friends these three type of stresses are sufficient where we can expect the question friends this is the complete syllabus of the plant physiology see the standard reference book for this is the lincoln types but if you can't read the lincoln types you can read the pathfinder but still if you feel that you don't have the time to read it my ppts will help you 99% to crack any kind of a question that is coming from this now tell let me tell you one important statement to all of you if you look into the syllabus of the plant physiology what they have done every one of you focus on the syllabus friends they have included the part of the biochemistry here itself what they have included glycolysis krebs cycle etc ppp pathway glyoxylate cycle lipids fatty acid biosynthesis everything they have given now what exactly you have to focus on the biochemistry i know you people can't read the entire biochemistry right it is a uh, highly impossible for all of you right now you have to give the highest importance to the glycolysis 
Krebs cycle etc when i said please read the glycolysis 90% of the students just read the 10 step of glycolysis steps of krebs cycle that is not the way that you can get the question you are going to get the questions exclusively from regulatory part the regulatory enzymes involved in the glycolysis the regulatory enzymes are involved in the krebs cycle the regulatory enzymes are involved in the electron transport chain all this very specifically ppp pathway ppp pathway is of a two types one is called as the oxidative pathway another one is called as the non oxidative pathway and their significance it's very easy to understand for uh, zoology people they mentioned the enzymes also but you are lucky they have not mentioned uh, you know oh, one second yeah yeah they have mentioned the one second friends yes they have completely mentioned the enzymes as well so we have to focus on enzyme kinetics especially especially on the michaels menten equation which is very common as well as lb plot as well as ad half steel diagram followed by inhibition Com all type of inhibition i cannot i don't want to you know specify only one all the type of inhibition processes you have to focus on trust me friends there is a no question paper of your jl or dl without the question from enzyme and its kinetics because it's one of the most important and unique topic that every student has to focus on followed by beta oxidation of the fatty acids then different type of lipids and bonds involved what is beta oxidation you know right glucose can give rise to the pyruvate by the process of glycolysis similarly friends fatty acids are going to give rise to the energy that is called atp nadph by the process called as beta oxidation again we get a straight forward question either from the enzymatic pathway or from the atp and nadph is synthesized you will also get the question from different type of lipids present type of bonds involved means phospholipid sphingolipid glycolipid ether lipids ester lipids all kind of questions we will get original standard reference book is leninger or white and white if you can't read it you can read the pathfinder but in the plant physiology i have given you 99% of assurance that questions will come from my slides itself but biochemistry for jl and dl i can give you 100% confidence that every single question comes from the topic or the slides that what we are covering in the classes no need to get confused okay okay now please confirm me all the audience is it clear everyone so far just say yes or no if anyone having any kind of a doubt in the biochemistry and plant physiology you can rise if you say yes or if you can ask the doubts otherwise i'll continue to the next lesson is it clear everyone please confirm others anyone having any doubts you can ask okay not a problem absolutely fine okay now friends after the plant physiology another very important unit that we all people has to focus on cell and molecular biology of plants you know i can say to all of you friends unit 1 unit 2 these two are the very biggest units they are not at all the very small units friends they are i'm sorry they are extremely a very big units so it is very important that you people has to focus on every single unit especially which are scoring units i can tell to all of you since both got combined here molecular biology and cell biology i can say very clearly friends uh, minimum i am using the word minimum okay only minimum 15 to 20 questions you gonna get just from the cell and molecular biology of the plants itself now tell me what exactly we have to focus on the cell biology if anyone remembered my words uh, in, in today's morning class also i told you what exactly you have to prepare now listen cell biology friends undoubtedly you have to focus on every single organelle you should not leave uh, you know single organelle also you have to focus on every single organelle i i will just mention it friends uh, starting from the plasma membrane i am writing all the organelles with respect to their uh, you know importance of asking the questions in the exam plasma membrane nucleus mitochondria rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum then followed by the golgi complex 
right then followed by the cytoskeleton lysosomes peroxisomes friends these eight organelles under any circumstances you should not skip it and what exactly you have to read in all these cell organelles friends you have to focus on the structure you have to focus on the function you have to focus on enzymes that are present in every single cell organelle apart from the enzymes involved in every single cell organelle it is very important friends that you have to read the deficiency diseases that are associated with it there is no need to get confused with that particular point you got it very correctly apart from the cell organelle we have to focus on different type of a chromatins heterochromatin euchromatin actually they have given this uh, as a part of the cytogenetics but we we are going to read here itself in the cell biology itself we will read you know heterochromatin euchromatin this is also most commonly type uh, common topic that we use it to get the question here also we use it to get the question from the experimental based only friends you know in which form of the chromatin rna transcription will be suppressed in which form of the chromatin the gene gene will be silenced which chroma i mean to say which uh, at which cases the methylation acetylation phosphorylation occurs in the euchromatin and heterochromatin these kind of tricky questions that we get in the exam apart from this transposons is one of the most important topic you have to read uh, different type of a transposons present in the plant present in the humans present in the yeast and you have to understand the complete characteristics of the transposons then followed by cell cycle regulation again remember without uh, a question from the cell cycle regulation there is a no question paper of the jl or dl that much important topic uh, this is also now you can ask me what is this cell cycle regulation you all people from the inter degree pg level you read very well about the mitosis and very well about the meiosis i know that very well you can answer any kind of a question that is coming from the mitosis and meiosis but in order to make you difficult the questions will come from regulatory part cdks involved cyclins involved in every phase of the cell cycle g1 s phase g2 phase m phase how the cell is getting regulated specifically in the g2 phase how it is getting regulated specifically in the m phase how the checkpoints can control this what what will happen if the checkpoint got failed this kind of experimental based questions that we will get from the cell cycle regulation there is no point of getting confused over there then after that cytogenetics another one of the most important unit and the most common standard reference books that we have to follow for the cell biology is carp or lardish since i know you can't read this standard reference book but all our slides are prepared exclusively from the standard reference book i can tell 90% of the questions exactly will come from whatever we will discuss in the class then another unit cytogenetics which is the molecular biology and genetics combination i really don't know 90% of the botany students i am saying 90% 90 90% of the botany students are they feel extreme difficulty in the molecular biology also as well as the genetics also there is no need to confuse friends it's easy only you can do it but i can tell you these two units are 100% conceptual units even though you sit and uh, by heart for one year also you can't answer a single question without understanding the concept you require a brilliant understanding and analysis of the subject then only you can answer the questions now let's look into the molecular biology first in the molecular biology i'll summarize you in a simple way you have to read the replication transcription translation and gene expression or the gene regulation in prokaryotes also and eukaryotes also an example if you are reading a replication you have to understand the process of initiation elongation and termination before that you have to understand rules of the dna replication enzymes involved in the dna replication very importantly the differences between the prokaryotic dna replication and eukaryotic dna replication you have to read it same thing with the transcription and same thing with the translation also but again most of the time most of the time again they will raise the questions 
continuously from the transcription and translation. I mean to say the antibiotics that are blocking the replication, transcription and translation. They will raise the question most commonly from this also. So friends, it is extremely important. You have to focus on the antibiotics. Trust me, at least one question will very surely comes from the name of the antibiotics. Apart from this, you should also focus on the DNA repair mechanisms such as MMR, mismatch repair me mechanism, nucleotide excision repair mechanism, base excision repair mechanism, double strand breakage repair, homologous recombination. Everything you people has to read and understand. It's a very, very important and very important enzymes involved in the transcription. Enzymes involved in the translation and uh, Again, I, I'm telling you, there is a no question paper without the question from the RNA processing war or post-transcriptional processes. So post-transcriptional process is also one of the most important one that I want every student has to focus on it. Now, apart from that, friends, you should also focus on post-translational modifications. And one of the most important topic every single time you can get the question in the exam, that is the operons. Operons are extremely important for the exam. Especially we have to focus on lacopron, you have to focus on the tryptophan operon. In both lacopron and tryptophan operon, you have to focus on the negative gene regulation also. You have to focus on the positive gene regulation also compulsory. Very mandatory. Again, you remember my words, uh, there is a no question paper without the question from the operons. That much important unit it is. You can't, if you have, if you can have the time, you can read the Watson for molecular biology. Genetics, you can read for the Russell. If not, you can rely on the PPT. Now, genetics. This also, most of the botany people will feel very difficulty because uh, it is kind of uh, application based. First, you all people who may were preparing for DL also or JL also, you should have a common basic ideology about three laws of the Mendel. Dominance, segregation, independent assortment. Then followed by, it is very important, friends, you should have a complete idea about monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross. Most of the people will read monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross. They will leave the trihybrid cross. You should not do that. You have to focus on mono, di, tri, all you have to read compulsory. Without confusion, you have to read them. Right. Then, friends, Apart from the Mendel principles, we have to focus on extra Mendel principles where we have to focus on co-dominance, in incomplete dominance, gene interactions, the most, 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 most important epistasis. Epistasis is also one of the major concepts where you are going to get the question more oftenly. From all the type of the epistasis, you can get the question. Every type of epistasis, dominant epistasis, Dominant duplicate epistasis, recessive epistasis, duplicate recessive epistasis. This is a, one of the promising and difficult concept that they will raise the question in the exam. Then followed by bacterial genetics, where we have to focus on the gene transformation methods, such as transformation, conjugation, transduction, and sexduction. Here, there is a great possibility that, friends, numerical questions will come. Mostly, Mostly numerical question that you are going to expect from here itself. Then followed by thorough knowledge and chromosomal alteration. Deletion, duplication, inversion, translocation and the diseases which are related to all these. Then followed by ploidies. Ploidies means monoploidy, hexaploidy, you know, octaploidy, polyploidy, anuploidy. These kind of questions also very common. They will raise the questions with respect to the diseases. No point of getting confused. Apart from that, they will raise the questions with respect to the mutations also. Type of mutations and how they are getting uh, repaired. These are all the major concepts that you have to focus on the genetics. If you skip molecular biology and genetics by feeling it as a difficult, trust my words blindly, you never qualify the exam. They are extremely important, my friends. You have to focus on it. Okay, then ecology. Ecology is also one of the biggest unit. It seems to be small, friends, but it's a very, 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 very lengthy unit. Here also, 
we can expect more than 10 to 12 questions or 11 questions very easily. Very, very easily. I'll tell you in a simple words. In ecology, I'm telling you in a simple words. We have to read complete information about individual organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, biosphere. This is what we actually has to focus on. Once again, remember, we have to focus on individual, population, community, ecosystem, biome, biosphere. When it comes to the individual, what we all people have to focus on, individual, we have to focus on what is the habitat and niche of the individual and how the individuals are going to avoid the competition. So we have to focus on competitive exclusive principle or the Gauss hypothesis, which is one of the most important hypothesis. Then followed by ecological succession. This is also one of the topic every single time they will raise the question in the exam. Type of succession and their mechanism which are involved in the hydrosier zero. I'm sorry. Type of successions. Succession occurring in the water body. Succession occurring in the dry area. And they will also raise the question with respect to the example of organisms living in the different stages. Then followed by certain rules. Ellen rules, Glogger rules, Bergman rule. They will directly give in a condition. They will directly give a condition. And they will ask you what rule it follows that kind of questions that we will get it then friends when it comes to the population ecology again i am telling to all the students here you can get a graphical question here you can get the numerical question also what exactly population ecology friends we have to focus on populations and how the population is behaving with respect to the environmental factors I mean to say how the population size, how the population density, how the population growth patterns can be changed. That we all has to focus on the population ecology. Then you people commonly know about the community ecology friends where we have to focus on different type of interactions. Symbiosis, commensalism, amensalism, parasitism, competition, predation. Here they can ask the questions either in the form of a symbols or, or they can ask the questions in the form of a examples. There are only two possible ways of getting the question. Then again, one of the most important topic that every people has to read compulsory, the different type of the pyramids. <clears throat> the See, don't think that they will write, they will draw three pyramids in the exam. Actually, they will design only one pyramid. That single pyramid only represent the energy also, represent the biomass also, represent the number in a different aquatic, a different, different ecosystem. They'll rise, they'll draw one pyramid, but it will represent the three conditions. So you have to choose the statements very carefully. And again, if you get a little more difficult question, friends, you are going to get the little more difficult question, friends, exclusively from the productivity. You can get the numerical also. <clears throat> You can get the statement also. Grass primary productivity, net primary productivity, grass secondary productivity, net secondary productivity. And certain terms such as what is eutrification, biomagnification, bioremediation, phytoremediation, again with the examples. Now when it comes to the pollution, you people give the highest importance to the air pollution. Anyway, I will explain while I am explaining you the lessons. Uh, before explaining the same unit, I will explain you once again. In the air pollution, you have to majorly focus on the effect of acid rain, which gases are contributing the acid rain, which gases are contributing the greenhouse effect. Apart from the air pollution, I want you to give an importance to the water pollution. BOD and COD, biological oxygen demand and how it is calculated, chemical oxygen demand and how it is calculated. Very important that you have to remember this. Remaining list of the project Tiger Jones, it is the conservation biology. This is a kind of scoring. And you know what is the advantage with all of you? This one and this one, list of Project Tiger Jones, National Park, Sanctuaries, Biosphere Reserve, Conservation State of Different Organisms, that is actually included in the plant resource utilization and conservation also. So if you read at one unit, that is sufficient that you can cover at the other two units also. So no need to get confused over there. Then the next one, 
plant biotechnology and genetic engineering. In this also, some of the people try to skip this unit. No, you should not skip any single unit. As I told you, out of nine units, you have to focus on 7.5 units compulsory. Then only you can crack it. Otherwise, it is extremely difficult to crack. Now, all the students remember, in the genetic engineering, you are going to get a fixed question. Minimum two questions, maximum four questions, exclusively from the RDNA technology. Starting from types of vector, enzymes involved in RDNA technology, types of vectors, types of gene transformation methods, cDNA library, genomic library, polymerase chain reaction and very important technique, DNA fingerprinting and very specifically they have mentioned the DNA markers as well. All we have to read them friends without leaving them. Then tissue culture. In this tissue culture, I just want you to understand friends. Give the highest importance to the secondary metabolites, cryopreservation, soma clone, artificial seed and clonal propagation. Focus on these five methods majorly. And trust me, from these five methods only, you can expect uh, three to four questions very easily. And you are going to get example-based uh, two to three questions uh, very specifically from the transgenic plants only and their methods of gene transfer as well. And the best book for this is the T.A. Brown. If you don't find the time to read that, you can aram say read the PPTs. It will help you a lot. Now, next one. Plant resource utilization and conservation. You know what I can say to all of you? In all the nine units of our uh, syllabus, this is the unit which is a so easy unit. Trust me, you can cover this entire unit in just... Uh, I am just giving you maximum time in 10 days. Uh, 10 days is actually, you know, over. You can cover this in the span of 7 days. 7 days only you can cover if you spend the time 2 to 3 hours very easy. Okay. So that's why I am requesting everyone of you focus on this very, very correctly, you know, without having a confusion. Now, in this, it's very easy, friends. You have to majorly focus on functions where these national institutes are located located functions branches it is very important to remember the years also you no need to remember all whatever i marked here only focus on that bsi nbpgr icar csir dbt that's all don't focus on too many things focus on what is their major functions where they got located where their branches are there you see where these branches are there in our telangana that also you have to see it. Where these branches are there in Andhra Pradesh. That you have to remember. You majorly focus on national wide also. Focus on the Telugu states also compulsory. Apart from that sanctuaries, national park, biosphere reserves, wetland, mangroves. We are reading in the ecology also. We are going to revise here also. Apart from that, we have see Another good advantage for all, all of us is. They have given the fixed plans. They are not asking us a random way. They are asking role of plants in medicine, andrographis, asparagus, philanthus, gymnia, bamboos, rattans, tannins, dye, resins, fruits. The advantage here, they did not use the word that role of plants in medicine and they have not given multiple plants. They have given only four plants. So you have to know everything about that plant. So starting with the scientific name, their chemical composition, their uses, where they are present, whether they are present in the China, native, native species of China, native species of Northern America, native species of India, in India where it is. So you have to know their characteristics, common constituents, uses, their native areas, everything you have to know. And very straightforward questions that you are going to get the, in the exam. So... <clears throat> Phycology, mycology, bacteria, virus, gymnosperms, and angiosperm. These uh, four units, another sir will explain how exactly you have to focus on, what exactly you have to read. And I am going to see, out of nine units, as I promised, we are going to cover minimum 8.5 units and maximum of nine units. In simple words, uh, we will focus on 95% to 100% of the entire syllabus. That is what I can tell to you. So from Monday onwards, 
we have a 75 days of time. Most probably the exam will be in the month of May. You people no need to worry about it. Okay, mostly. Mostly it is in the month of May only. It won't be in the April. We will keep the target of uh, April 30th. We can cover entire syllabus with wonderful revision. So the class timings are fixed. Morning 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. And evening 6.30 to 9 p.m. With minimal breaks in the middle. No need to get confused. And if you miss any class also, you can happily you know, watch the recorded 24 by 7, which is completely available. Right. And once the chapter get over, you can access the chapter wise test also. And you can also access the complete mock test also. No need to get worry about it. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Now, please let me know if you have any doubts, you can ask me. And if you have a good patience till 75 days, then only you can crack the exam. Results are secondary thing, but you have to put your efforts on your preparation. Then only you can crack. So I will help you in every aspect of your preparation. I want every one of you to be very serious towards your preparation. And very, very, very important. You have to spend minimum of six and maximum of eight hours on your preparation. If you just think that I already know the concept, I have to just revise. Let me revise in the last 30 days. So that never be possible. You require a, you have to understand maximum amount of information. You have to remember maximum amount of information. For that, you require a multiple revisions compulsory. Six to eight hours. In this, if you remove three hours for classes also, five hours, you have to do the self-preparation compulsory. Then only you can crack it. Don't expect that if I read one to two hours, I can easily crack the exam. That never happens because it is not an, a theory exam. So keep that in your mind and prepare accordingly. All the classes will be dealt only through the app. No, no classes will be held through the Zoom. I hope it's clear for everyone. If you have any kind of a doubts, now you can ask me. Ramesh, if you have any kind of a doubt, you can ask. Rohini also. All, all the new people will be joining from the Monday onwards. All right. All right. All right. If anyone having any kind of doubts, you can ask me. Remaining units, sir, will explain you know, what exactly to focus on. We can start from the Monday. That is perfect. I will see you in the evening 6.30 p.m. class in the genetics unit. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you all.